Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and today I want to bring to you a couple of things I'm really excited about. First of all, I've got a proposal in to the Litecoin project, and second of all, I want to show you a website that I've been working on for DigiAssets. So we'll start off with the proposal that I've put forward to Litecoin. Basically, I've recommended that they use DigiShield. So what I've done is I've put in uh, some code. It's unfortunately, I'm not a developer, so it's not complete. But it's a good stepping stone. It's a good starting point. Now, what I've, I've basically done is this has been inspired by a tweet that Charlie Lee put out where he basically says, let me bring it up here. Since the halving, this was the block reward halving, 12 blocks were found over 17 minutes. Now, this is basically 50% of what it should have been at two and a half minutes. So although the Litecoin hash rate was healthy, uh, there, were, there were blocks being found faster than they should have been. And this is obviously going to impact it down the line when blocks are being found slower than they should be. So what DigiShield does is it kind of stabilizes the block timings by adjusting the difficulty every single block in a, a real-time manner. So what I've put forward in the proposal here is I've basically said that by comparison, uh, Digibyte, oh, right there, by comparison, Digibyte at the same time had found 200 blocks in 49.5 minutes. The expected was 50 minutes, so this is a, approximately a 1% deviation compared to the 50% deviation of the current method that Litecoin is using. So this is why I've put the proposal to them. Now, this would be an upgrade similar to like we've done in the past. Digibyte's done five of them, six of them. We are basically pros at this at the, at, at, at the time. Um, we've, we've done a number of them and they've all gone smoothly. And the way that this works is we would put in a, a lock-in date. So I suggested originally six months for Litecoin. They could push that out. They could make it 12 months. They could make it 24 months. And what would happen is the miners, again, need to signal upgrade for this. If the consensus is not achieved after a approximately a 12-month timeout period, then those who are running the new software would still be fine. They would still be able to interact with the network. They wouldn't have to change anything. So there's really no downsides to this for them, and I hope that they take this uh, seriously. I think this is actually a really good upgrade for them, and I can't see any, any downsides to it. Why would you not want to have a more stable system? It's great. We're using it. There's a dozen other uh, projects that are using it. So what I'll do is I'll include a link in the description below as well if you want to go and you want to check that out. And um, on to the really juicy stuff though, this is a sneak peek of a website that I've been working on for creating Digi Assets. So it's basically going to be really simple. You put in an asset name, you get to choose if it is reissuable or if it is locked with a fixed supply and can never be uh, adjusted again in the future. You'll put in a description. So say for example, this is where you could put in that this is my first Digi Asset or this is where you could put in that this is for tickets to Ed Sheeran's Divide Tour, um, specifically tonight being the, the 10th of August or something along those lines. Uh, you choose a quantity. Uh, you'll choose if you want them to be either whole numbers or if you want it to be divisible like Digibyte is up to say eight decimal places, for example. Uh, you pick an image, so you could choose a, an animated GIF like we've done with the My First Digi Asset or you could just have a, a static picture like a company logo, for example. Finally, you put in your uh, Digibyte wallet address and that's it. Really nice and simple. So this is going to be cool as well because you will sign into this using your Digi ID. We're not going to ask for a whole lot of personally identifying information. We don't need that. So this is going to be really simple. You'll sign in with Digi ID. You can pop in these details and issue it. It's that easy. So anyway, it's not quite ready yet. There are still a few little things that we're, we're working out the kinks for. And um, I'll keep you posted though. It's, it's getting there. This is the website that I used to issue my first digi asset the one that i gave out to everybody when i was doing the live stream uh this is also the one that has been used to raise awareness for retina blastoma um and this is also one i've been having a chat with a couple of other people uh, around the digibyte community who've been involved for quite some time now and getting their feedback getting them to issue a couple of assets so hopefully you'll start to see those appearing maybe on their youtube channels or on their twitter um, Twitter streams as well. So stay tuned and uh, when it's ready, I'll be sure to let everybody know so you can jump in and have some fun and create your, your first Digi Assets. Anyway, that's all for me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can also reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.